This is a video from eSkills Zone. For more videos, notes, and certificates, please visit www.eskillszone.com. Hello and welcome. Hi, viewers. Today in this video, we will learn some more commands about GW Basic Programming Language. So, first of all, we will write down the name of the command we are going to learn today is CONT command. And the definition is this command is used to program execution after a break and the syntax is C O N T and the interpretation is resumes program execution after control break stop halts a program execution continues at the point where the break happened if the break took place during an input statement execution continues after reprinting the prompt so it is actually used to resume the program execution whenever there is a stop halt or control break happened so it is used to actually recontinue the program from where it is stopped CONT is useful in debugging the debugging is the process of finding and removing the error from a computer program and that it lets us set breakpoints with the stop statement modify variables using direct statements continue program execution or use go to to resume execution at a particular line number if a program line is modified CONT will be invalid so it is very important to note that it is useful in debugging. Debugging is the process of finding and removing an error from the computer program. So in that it lets us set breakpoints with the stop statement, modify variables using direct statements, continue program execution or use go to to resume execution at a particular line number. If the program line is modified, CUNT will be invalid. Now viewers, uh, we will learn some commands about now we have learned all the commands used in GW basic programming language now we're gonna learn today from today basic statements so the statement there's a difference between statements and commands already discussed before in my previous videos that commands are executed in direct mode whereas the basic statements can be executed in direct mode as well as in indirect mode so 
here are some commonly used statements of basic language first of all we will learn today and statement this is the first statement we are going to, we are going to learn today this statement is used to terminate program execution close all files and return to the command level and the syntax is e and the end the next statement we are going to learn today is the ram statement which is used to give some remarks in a GW basic computer program it is stands for REM REM and then we'll type statements this is a non executable statement and is used to add explanatory remarks in the program syntax syntax is rem rem and then we will type the remarks it can be any remarks like this is a program which calculates the area of triangle just give an example of it and we can also put a single quote apostrophe for giving remarks there are two different ways through which you you can you know give remarks in a computer program of gw basic now i'm going to type a computer program over here and you will see that this program will calculate the area of as uh, the average of students so first i will type the line number 10 then we'll type ram which is a keyword dessert word which is used to give remarks in computer program this program cal <laughs> i will give some more lines so that you're going to have a clear picture of so i'm going to type a program which which, which will use the re remark statement ram this program is sorry calculates the average of two numbers and line number 20 says a is equal to 15 and b is equal to 25 and the next line is a v g which is used to calculate the average and then we'll type a plus b and then we'll divide it by two like this now we can also use you know single code apostrophe for giving the so the ram statement and the apostrophe which will uh, you know all this put before giving the statement will all work like same like ram and apostrophe will be used to give remarks in the program so this line will also used for us for remark display the average <laughs> now we're gonna give the output print we'll use the print statement average is equal to avg which is variable and we'll give the average stored in that average will be displayed over here and whatever is uh, used with the print statement enclosed in the double quotes will be uh, shown as it is on the output screen now i'm gonna learn i'm gonna 
execute this program first we will now we can press the F2 key and you can see the output so first we need to so we're gonna either run this program or we can you know save this program by pressing the F4 key we can type uh, average avg dot bas and then this program will be saved in the hard disk memory and ram as well now we're going to load this program we'll press the f3 key and then we'll type avg dot bas and now this program has been loaded into the memory in the ram now i'm gonna run this now so we can you know press the f2 key so we'll type f2 